Hi, so I decided to make a quick video on how power inverters work and how you can use them with certain doors to make the door solar powered uh, as well as possibly um, switch powered. So what we have here is a power inverter on a wall and we have a bunch of uh, power doors. These power doors by default, um, so if there's no power going to them, they're open. They actually require power to close them. So if you want them to be based on, um, say, uh, a, a, a proximity switch, which would be on and let power flow when you're near it, and you wanted them to open, you've got to invert the power. Same thing if you wanted it to be solar powered. On the other side of the hill there, near the uh, beacon, um, there's a solar panel. Um, I'm not going to be able to fully illustrate what happens when the sun goes down because the video is not going to be that long. The sun just came up. But I can at least explain how it works. So you've got red and green. Um, doesn't really matter which side is your main feed. Uh, you know, you can have it on one side and then have the trigger, the, the output on the other side. But you'll have house power, which is basically the power source. I have a power station over there. Um, not the solar panel, but the actual main power that feeds the base that's going to actually provide power. This goes into... Uh, one side and then the thing that you want to send power to comes out the other and in this case we want that power to be inverted when a condition is met be it um, the switch is turned on or the sun is up okay so right now the sun is up the wire is blue uh, but then we need when the wire is blue this to not be powered and for the doors to open when it's not powered. So that's the trick. One side is the input. That's, you know, most of the time always going to be hot. Um, you could probably get more complex with that. Uh, but for the simple explanation, power is always hot on the inside, the, the red side there. The conditional power on or off is going to be on the other side and then you have at the bottom the trigger so what the trigger is going to do is if there's no power coming in it's going to allow power to flow all the way through and that would close all the doors if and actually I think we can well I could delete the wires and, and show you how that would work but if the power is flowing like if the Sun is up and it actually provides power it will invert the power going to the doors so we'll go ahead and let me go ahead and go down to tech and power and industry and have the wires ready so if we go ahead and delete that wire and this wire you'll see that the doors go through the powers off to the trigger icon but it's on on both sides the door is on if we go ahead and connect this electrical wire here to there this is just a normal switch it's getting its uh, house power from this line this line is uh, actually feeding power to the uh, uh, proximity switch here but You'll notice the switch is in the off position. If we go ahead and toggle the power flow, it actually opens the doors. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and reconnect this back to the solar panel. Now the solar panel is not part of the grid. The solar panel is completely independent of the grid. And you actually don't use any power uh, from that solar panel. So if you had a bunch of things you wanted to have solar power triggered or solar triggered, um, 
you can do it all with one solar panel because this function doesn't actually use, and we're going to go ahead and turn this back off, doesn't actually use power. It simply is a signal. If there's power coming in, power gets inverted. If there's no power coming in, power does not get inverted. Um, now remember, the red side is just your source. And this is, in this case, always on power. It's what we want to invert as opposed to what you want to signal on. You want to switch your signal on, solar power or the switch being on or off. Um, if the switch is off and the and it's dark, you can turn the switch on. That allows power to flow through. That causes the signal, basically this wire, to turn blue, which means you want the power to be off to the doors. So that's the, the simple explanation of how inverters work. You basically have your power source as opposed to your switching source and then your uh, destination power, what power you want to be inverted. This would work perfectly fine with um, either, like I've got here, a switch or a solar panel. Uh, one of the ways you can make these doors proximity activated is you would put the, the switch here and if you just connected the switch, you know, you had the power coming in and then the switch to the doors um, activator, it would actually work opposite without an inverter. What would happen is, is when you got close enough to it, it would actually make the door close as opposed to making the door open. You would need to have the inverter. You would set it up so that, again, the same thing, you can even do this with the same power that's providing power to the switch, providing power to the inverter as well, but you would put the other side of the proximity switch to the signaling, and then, you know, everything hooked up as it is with the, the destination power. So when you got close enough, the, the selector you know, the switching power would switch sensor, I guess you could call it, uh, would come on. That would tell it, okay, go ahead and invert the power from the house, and that would cause the door to be open. I actually use this um, way over here. We'll run over here. Come on. Sprint, 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 sprint. There we go. So I have a little mine going over here with a door on it. And the door is proximity activated. It has that there, but it has a power inverter here. And you see the source, it doesn't really matter which side is green or red, uh, it just reverses the house power or the, or the source power to the destination switch. So and based on the selector here. So if I wander out of the way, you'll see that line goes red. The, the line up to the door itself goes blue and it closes the door. If I get back to it, it opens the door back up. So that's how power inverters work. You have the three nodes. One node is you know, the, the left or right node is um, either your source power or your destination power. And then the middle node, which is usually underneath or um, between the red and the, gro red and the <laughs> red and the green lines, is your um, switching source. This is probably I can't swear by it because I haven't used them yet. Uh, exactly how other three-based switches would work. Um, like the auto switch, I believe, is another uh, three-way switch, except that the auto switch would basically take house power and would only let the house power flow through if the line was blue. So it would do the opposite, basically, of an inverter. Um, I don't think there's any others that are... Yeah, just the auto switch and the power inverter. So an auto switch is, again, it's a conditional based, whatever the condition is 
of this determines what's output. An inverter basically inverts that. Instead of allowing power through if the signal is on, it inverts the power if the signal is on in the, in the lower bottom. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is how I just recently redesigned my base on Dogra Dur. Um, Dogra Dur, the uh, hub capital, the, the newest hub capital. Um, basically, if the sun is up, the cabana is open. If the sun goes down, the cabana closes, unless you're in here and you toggle the power flow using the wall switch, in which case the power will flow through the switch. It'll make the conditional switch go on, and then the doors will all open at that point. So, uh, I guess that's it. It's pretty, pretty simple and simple explanation. It's a good thing they included this because, like I said, these doors, by default, when you build them, they're open. In fact, if I build one out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, under structures, we'll go ahead and use wooden, find the wooden wall, where is it? Probably past it already. There, wooden power door. If you just build one, uh, using the right button, you'll see by default it's open. When there's no power going to it, it's open. It requires power to close. Which, uh, you know, I don't use many other doors like this. Uh, but I'm guessing that the other doors are actually either have their built-in sensors or they're exactly the opposite of this and um, require power to open. So, but there you go. That's how, that's how uh, inverters work and how I've been making use of them.